Hey everyone, talking about Elysium O Intense by Raja, just came out very recently in 2023. The notes in this are bergamot, grapefruit, lime, rhubarb, lavender, thyme, artemisia, musk, lily of the valley, orange blossom, rose, jasmine, tuberose, apple, black currant, galbanum, black pepper, cypriol, vetiver, cedar, dry woods, violet leaf, juniper, benzoin, vanilla, labdanum, leather, and ambergris. There are definitely similarities to the original Elysium. This is not one of those flankers where it's in name only and basically smells like a completely different line and it's just a total cash grab. Maybe it's cash grab, but it's not so radically different or something that it's ridiculous to call it in the same line. But there also still are noticeable differences. Somehow to me, it's both greener and bluer than the original. Um, I saw someone say that this should really probably be called Elysium O Fresh rather than Elysium O Intense, and I would agree with that. I would have thought an intense version of Elysium would be more like amping up the vetiver even further and the leathery side and like things like that, like bringing some more of those things out. But this is really more about yeah, the opening has a greener tang with the way the rhubarb and black currant are, um, and that astringent fresh grapefruit that's also in the original, of course. And there's this icy blue coolness that sticks around for a really long time, basically like from start to finish and kind of defines the scent, I would say. Yeah, the vetiver here is way, way, way less noticeable than the original. Some people don't like how much vetiver is in the original. I like how it is there i really like that one i love the original general full bottle worthy for me so i was really excited for this to come out um i literally <laughs> first i i think i gasped seeing <laughs> that <laughs> that it, you know when i even heard about it and i gasped again when i saw that lucky scent had added samples so clearly i was very excited for this and i'm not gonna say it's not that it's bad but i guess i'm relieved a little bit that i can just stick with my regular one because for me it doesn't have the magic of the original um along with the vetiver being less noticeable in this this version is definitely way more musky more floral not in a feminine leaning way that it's not like that it would, it's still masculine leaning i would say um but as with the original it's not like hyper masculine or anything but definitely a little bit more of the powdery floral presence here and more of an oceanic side the ambergris is definitely amped up here yeah, so I would say basically on the positive side, as I saw one reviewer put it, and you know, take this a little bit with a grain of salt, but imagine the best parts of Invictus Aqua with the brightest elements of Creed Silver Mountain Water and then made with really like superior ingredients. I could see, you know, aspects of that. Um, some pe other sense people compared it to our Blue de Chanel and Blue Satin by MDCI Parfums. Essentially, I would say this is a high quality take on an ocean fresh meets blue cologne with a bite of green as well. On the negative, to me, this is less original than the regular Elysium and a bit closer to kind of more regular blue designer fragrances, like a bit of, say, Ralph's Club Parfum. And I think that's a really good one as far as modern blue ones go. Not, and again, I think this is more high quality than that. I do think it's more original than that. There's also the green side. There's also other stuff going on, but it doesn't grab me quite the way that the original does and it doesn't stand out to me as much and i also just get a little bit of a sourness that i don't like between the ambergris black currant and musk and maybe the rhubarb too but i do like the, that type of sourness usually but yeah and i would have just really preferred personally for my taste that the musk was toned down way more in this um longevity and projection are another area where i certainly wouldn't call it intense some people are just saying i get like 10 seconds of it and it's nothing but overall the consensus for most people for most people's skin and not going nose blind to it seems to me that it's about moderate projection like nothing certainly not you know amazing or anything like that if you're looking for elysium with better longevity and projection that would be the parfum version which to me that one smells very similar to the cologne parfum cologne version yeah, uh, 315 for 800 milliliter. I definitely feel that that is overpriced just in terms of, again, I don't know, because to me, honestly, I do feel that the regular Elysium is worth that. And a lot of people think everything ever by Raja is so overpriced. I don't feel that way at all. Maybe overpriced in the sense of like nothing, a fragrance shouldn't cost that much or whatever. But when comparing to other stuff in the niche market, I usually actually think that they do stand out to me. I like the sense a lot of the time. But yeah this i think the right person would love it if you like the idea of elysium and just made kind of more blue and more green and just like this icy freshness to it combined with like some fresh green bite then yeah this could be really good for you i wouldn't mind smelling it on someone else i think it smells pretty good in general it's just again 
just makes me want to wear the original Elysium. Um, but yeah, I'm excited that they came out with this still, and I hope they keep coming out with more ones that I can try, because yeah, I'm definitely not a Raja hater. I don't think everything they do is gold. I do think a lot of stuff they do is overpriced, but I am glad to see new releases from them. And uh, actually, I think I liked Isola Blue, if that, the other one that came out this year. I think I liked that better than this, but I don't dislike it. I think the right person would love it, but I don't think that you need to go run out and get it if this kind of general description doesn't make it sound stunning to you. <laughs>